Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 848 and the problem is flip flop sum. So uh, here we are stating that uh, you are given an array of n integers and there are a1, a2 up till an and the array has only two values that is 1 and minus 1. You have to perform the following operation exactly once on the array. So what is that operation? You can choose an index and flip the sign of ai and ai plus 1. So it means that you can out of the array, you can take two indices that is consecutive indices and flip the numbers in that array. Flipping means minus one will be one and one will be minus one. So you can just take it as a flip or basically it means what? We are just negating the value that is negative of negative one is one and once negative value is negative one. So we are negating the values, we are flipping the numbers. They're asking that after performing exactly one operation of this, what is the maximum value of a1, a2 up till an? You have to find the sum. So for example, let's try to find out 1, 1, minus 1. So if we take these two values, if we negate it, right, the value is minus 3 and 1, 1, minus 1. We already took two. Let's take these two consecutive elements. If we negate these values, it will be minus 1 and 1. The answer will be 1. So the maximum value is 1. Now, if you see, uh, the, for, for this here, only two values are there. So what are the possibilities uh, before moving to the solution? I'll just say, what are the possibilities? Minus one, minus one, minus one, 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 minus one, and one, one. So if I'm simply getting the negative values, I'm just putting as positive value and then finding the answer, right? Here also, same. Here, if it's one, one, I have to put minus one, minus one. But what if uh, for this question, this solution alone is enough, but what if, uh, instead of two numbers, right? Instead of consecutive numbers, if there are three or four or many numbers. So we'll try to use this as a learning method and uh, we'll follow a more generalized method. That generalized in the sense, I mean that uh, we are not gonna see the sign or the number that is present. We just gonna flip the sign and follow it. So I'll just uh, share that with the help of an example. Let's take it's minus one, 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 minus one. Initially, I'll take the total sum. What is the total sum here? It is two. Now, I take the temp sum. So temp sum basically means uh, I have to process two numbers, right? Uh, I'll use this temp sum as a temporary sum to process two numbers. And whenever I find a value that is greater than the existing sum, I'll replace this. So just follow the video to full uh, so you'll understand it. Now let's take these two numbers. Temp sum is initially the total sum. Now let's take these two numbers that is one and one. What I'm doing is I'm removing these two numbers from the array. Now only this is remaining that is temp sum minus equal to this one and temp sum minus equal to this one. After this is done, only this is remaining. I need to add the negated values of this, right? Minus one and minus one. So how much is that? Temp sum, you add the negated value that is minus one temp sum plus equal to minus one. Now how much you got? You got one plus minus one, zero, minus one, minus two. So you got one value as minus two. So what did I do? Out of the total sum, I removed these two numbers and I replaced that. I added that with negative one, negative one. I got minus two here. Now I'll go through this one. One, 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 minus one. Since this is also two ones, this is also two ones here. I'll do the same approach. So uh, what do I do? The temp sum, the total value is two. I'm removing these two numbers from the array. Temp minus equal to one, temp minus equal to one again. Then I'm adding the negated values. Temp plus equal to minus one, temp plus equal to minus one. So you got minus two again for the middle two numbers. Now here comes the interesting part. That is one and minus one. So now let's see. It is, uh, I'm removing temp minus equal to this one and temp minus equal to minus one. I'm negating the numbers. And then what I'll do, I'll add the now negative value of these numbers, minus one. And this is minus of minus one. That is temp plus equal to plus one. Now how much you got? That is one, two, three, two. So you got the values two, right? So out of this, you make a, a condition. What is the maximum value? That is two. So I'll just quickly go through the code so that you get more clarity. So this is the code that is accepted. So you can just check here. Now, uh, I'm not working out since the same thing. What I do, I do temp sum is these two numbers. I'm removing these two numbers from the array. 
I'm adding the negated values of this, then taking the total sum. That is, I'm already doing it in real time. Then if the temp sum is greater than answer, answer is initially a very big negative number, answer will be minus two, as I told earlier in the previous example. Now, this is done. Now temp sum again back to total sum. Now I'm processing these two numbers. That is V of i becomes one and i plus one and adding the negative values of it. Then answer is again minus two only. Now again, so temp sum is same as total sum. I am neg negating these two values, v of i and minus v of i plus one. Now I am adding the negative values of this. That is minus one you added and minus v of i plus one also you added. So temp sum is greater than answer. So answer will be two here. So for this case, the answer is two. So I hope uh, it is clear. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to uh, and put it in the comment section i'll be glad to help you guys uh, and i do know that uh, there are multiple possibilities that is if it is minus one minus one you can come out of the loop and say but i feel this could be a more generalized solution and i shared this so i hope you liked it thank you